Last night, 26 so far was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, people always asking us how we going to open up the church. And I always tell the people, I wish I was a multi-millionaire because what we are preaching is in strong demand everywhere, every city, every state, every country where the truth of God travels to, God give us victory all the time. I am persuaded that there are sincere people all over. Everybody don't want to be lost. And everybody don't want to go to hell. There are some people that really mean to go back with God. Then on the other hand, you have those that talk a good game. But when you really make it up in your mind to do this right, nobody served God without paying the price. And you're going to have to give up something. And please don't be surprised what that thing may be. It may be the closest thing to you. Maybe someone that you knew all your life. Maybe that job that you have that's giving you a million dollars a year. Especially when the income that you're making contradicts what's written. But if you do it like God requires. God will be pleased with you. To all of our viewers, again, we are here in Little Rock, Arkansas. It's a very wicked city. Just as wicked as any other city. I haven't been in no city where all are righteous. I haven't been in no city where all are holy. Some say, he come here and talk about our city like that? Why, well, yes. Sure, Little Rock is a wicked, ungodly, devil deceived city within a wicked ungodly country and that got all America and doesn't matter what political party you affiliated with all right let's dive into the Bible let me update the saints we got a report uh, more baptisms here they contact me from uh, overseas also and Ghana 24 was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. I believe it was yesterday. Two went down in Scotland. Two went down in Johannesburg, South Africa. As I mentioned, 26 last night here in Arkansas. One in Fredericksburg, Virginia. One in North Chicago. One in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So that's 57 so far that was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now to all of you that are here and to our viewers, God only have one church. As I often say, one church established by one God. And God advises everybody to come out of what they're in. In fact, I want the book of Kings and I want the book of Corinthians. Yes. I'm criticized for telling people to stay home and don't go to church. And I'm also criticized for telling people, leave your churches. <laughs> Let's get Bible for both. I don't care if you call yourself an apostle, a prophet, an evangelist, an elder, if you're Gabriel's cousin, <laughs> That's right. if it was possible. If you're not going to do it like the word of God said, this is a warning. That's right. Holiness is the last day's warning for the correction of man. You know, in the days of Noah, Noah preached a message that was unusual to them that heard it. They wasn't used to rain, but uh, it didn't stop him from telling the people what God says. It was going to rain. Their hardheadedness, their stubbornness, their rebelliousness did not stop God's word from coming to pass. It rained just like God said it did. And if there was any preachers that was unrighteous in Noah's day, they drowned just like everybody else. So the world is having a big time, a big religious party. And the devil has set up so many religions until many people say, well, Pastor Jennings, 
I don't know what's right. I tell them God is right. And if you follow what God say, it'll get you right and keep you right. Give me the book of Kings first. First Kings chapter 22, <coughs> we'll start reading in verse 16. I want to show you why I tell everybody, go home. That's right. Go home. Stop wasting your time and your energy. Going to your churches out of routine every Saturday, every Sunday, just burning up gas and wearing out shoe leather. Yeah. For what? To be lost. Right. Let us remember that the breath that is in our nostrils is equal to someone that leases a house. When your lease is up, you got to get gone. When uh, God called your spirit in and your body now is vacant of breath, it's time for you to go out of here, pushed out of time into eternity. Holiness is designed to take you out of everything that will keep you out of the kingdom of God and then connect you with God, that you may be one with him. That's right. And when you are one with him, you know what that's going to bring? That's going to cause ties to be severed. Lord, we'll take God with many others. That's right. I came up in false church. Yes, I did. I came up in so-called apostolic church. And uh, they believe in a baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. They believe in the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. And they believe it was one God. Didn't believe in no women preachers. In other words, they had the meat, the vegetables, and <laughs> the carbs and whatnot. But there were some other missing things yeah. that caused the meal not to be balanced. You know, when you truly want to eat right, you want a balanced meal. If you want to get into the kingdom of God, you want a balanced message. That's right. A message that give all the elements of your being correction, yeah. modification, cause you to make adjustments and readjustments. But religion today, oh my Lord. You know, if God haven't saved me, now, if I wasn't saved now and looked at religion and didn't know the truth, I wouldn't want to be saved. No. I say if I didn't know the truth. Right. Because religion don't have nothing to offer me but hell. That's right. Now, you know that's backward. <laughs> Religion's supposed to be able to offer you God, God's word. Salvation, protection, deliverance. I should not be on my way to hell because I'm religious. That's right. Religion's supposed to come rescue me from the evil. Thank God that the devil have. But the devil have used religion to damn thousands. Oh, yes. How does he do it? By misusing. The name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Notice the book of Kings here. First Kings 22, we'll start at verse 16. I want to take my time and soak you. Mm -hmm. You can shout next year. <laughs> Amen. You only got a few more weeks before next year come. You can hold your feet till then. That's right. All right, come on, Williams, give chapter and verse. First Kings chapter 22, we'll start at verse 16. Follow me. And the king said unto him, How many times shall I adjure thee? There was a king by the name of Ahab. There was a prophet by the name of Micaiah, That's right. the son of Embla. Word of the Lord came to Micaiah to debunk the lust of Ahab who wanted to take over the territory called Ramoth Gilead. That's right. And there was another king by the name of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat came there with Ahab and mm -hmm. Ahab got about 400 false prophets to uh, make it look exciting as if the Lord was saying something, hoping that would move Jehoshaphat. Mm -hmm. And Ahab said to the false prophets, should I take Ramoth Gilead or should I forbear or should I leave it alone? And they said, go up. Ha, 
Listen at this. In 1 Kings 22 and at verse 6. And all the liars said to Ahab, go, go up, up. Go up. Go up. For the Lord shall deliver it into the hand of the king. They lied. That's right. The Lord ain't said nothing. <laughs> and that's what's going on now. You know, when you're not scripturally inclined, I, I want you to get what I'm telling you. When you are scripturally and spiritually illiterate. That's it. Did you hear what I said? That's right. <clears throat> scripturally, spiritually illiterate. That's right. Don't have the understanding of what the word of God says. Any old fool false prophet. When I was a kid, I used to watch a cartoon. Two crows called Heckle and Jekyll. <laughs> That's what you have in the, pul in the pulpits of America and the world. That's right. Heckles and Jekylls. That's right. And Heckle and Jekyll, I remember the two crows, they were scoundrels. <laughs> Always got something cooking. Amen. Always got something going on. To deceive and the trick. That's exactly the way preachers are today. That's right. When you are scripturally illiterate, uneducated on the things of God, any old heckle and jekyll can come and say, the Lord said this, and the Lord said that. <clears throat> what makes people gravitate to it? Because when they hear the lie, they don't know it's a lie. But when they hear what the preacher said, thus saith the Lord, it sounds so good to them, they wish it was true. That's right. And if you notice, the Lord, according to the mouths of these liars, always said, mm -hmm. you're going to get rich. That's right. It's all over Africa, all over America, all over Canada, all over Europe, all over South America, out of every ethnic group, there's a false prophet that's preaching wealth. That's right. One false prophet in, uh, here in America said when you hear a man preach against wealth, it's because he don't have none. Oh, really? Oh, really? Really? In the book of St. Matthew 26 and verse 11. Let's see what Jesus preached. For ye have the poor always with you. Yes. But me ye have not always. Yes. For in that she hath poured this ointment on my body. You know, Jesus body. preached to the apostles, strive not to be rich. So you mean to tell me if someone preach against it, that mean uh, they don't have no money? No. God can make a man rich. But when God make a man rich because his heart is so sanctified, he's still going to preach it in keeping with God's word. Labor not to be rich. Listen at this in the prophets. Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 4. Look at Brother Solomon. Here's a rich man preaching it. That's right. A rich man preaching it. Yeah, man. That's right. A rich man. These old false prophets said, if a man preaches against riches, it's because he's not. That's a lie. Amen. Solomon was rich and didn't ask for it. That's right. God made him rich. That's right. I mean with land and houses and wealth. Well, but he still died a fool. Proverbs chapter 23 and verse oh, 4. Oh, says Solomon died a fool? Yes. Yes, he did. Thank God the strange women took his heart away from God. That's right. Thank God in everything he tore down, they made him build it back up. That's right. And the scripture says if you build up again the things you destroy, you make yourself a transgressor. Amen. Listen at this now. Proverbs 23 and verse 4. What the Holy Ghost said. Labor not to be rich. Don't work to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. Cease. From your own ideology. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? Would you set your eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves riches wings. Riches make themselves wings. They fly away. They, they get away from you. As an eagle toward heaven. No one said, I've never seen riches fly. They fly every second of the day. That's right. They fly away from you. The moment that rich man die, his riches gone. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. All right, let's go back to the book of Kings now. Back in 1 Kings 22 and we're at verse 6. Listen. Shall I go against Ramoth? Shall I go against shall Ramoth Gilead? I go against Ramoth Gilead or shall I leave it alone? And they said, go up. And that's what the preachers are telling them. Yeah. The Lord says, go up. The Lord will give it to you. And Jehoshaphat said, is there not a prophet oh, of the Lord besides? Oh, it's good to have someone in the group. <laughs> that's right. That know the sound of God. That's right. Yeah. Amen. 
Jehoshaphat knew God's sound. That's right. And he knew what Ahab was throwing down. That didn't sound right. Amen. That didn't sound like something God would say. Is there viewers, no viewers and hell bound watchers. Amen. You mean to tell me all this religious trash that is circulating around the world? You're not scripturally educated to be able to decipher, yeah. to differentiate oh, yeah. the sound of God from the sound of the devil. That's right. The sound of God is wrapped 100% in scripture. That's right. I don't care nothing about how loud a man scream and shake the microphone and walk across the chairs until he trip up and fell. <laughs> that don't mean nothing. No. He can yell like James Brown and moonwalk like dead Jackson. <laughs> That's right. That don't mean nothing. No. Come on back to Bible. Amen. This is why we labor to teach you what's written. You know, if you learn what's written, that fortify you yeah. against every false prophet under the sun. That's right. Huh? It fortifies you. That's when God starts opening up my understanding that I might understand the scripture to what was written. I, I noticed it became, I became fortified. That's right. And then when I would knock on the door of my fake bishop <laughs> and ask him questions out the Bible. This is after he preached a lie. You see, I'll wait till he preached a lie first. Mm -hmm. Amen. I, I was reading for the preacher in the church I came out of. They didn't have no reader. He would give out about 30 or 40 scriptures and have the whole congregation reading for them. That's right. And I went to him and said, well, why don't you let me read? You ain't got to give out no scripture. I said, I, I pick up the scripture without you even calling for it. So uh, as a young boy, I was reading for the preacher. Williams, he was still out there with three gods. <laughs> Amen. And, and the wilderness of confusion and, and the orbit of confusion. <laughs> Out there with three gods, not knowing uh, whence he comes. But uh, I was reading for the preacher, and every time he would preach a lie, I would read the truth. Mm -hmm. And then he would preach a lie, I'd come back and read the truth. Amen. He would preach a lie and come back and read the truth, and it frustrated him so bad, he said, hey, Don't you read nothing else for me. That's right. Don't read nothing else for me no more. <laughs> Amen. Now, brothers and sisters, it's good to have the Bible, but holiness challenges your belief that you claim to have in the Bible. That's right. I don't care how much you carry the Bible. I don't care how holy and sanctified you claim you are. Holiness challenges your so-called scriptural belief. Belief. Now, in the days of Micaiah, and when Ahab lied, the prophets lied and said, the Lord said, go up and prosper. Mm -hmm. Micaiah challenged it. That's right. And God dealt with Micaiah. Then the word of the Lord came to Micaiah and said, I saw all Israel. Scattered upon the hills. Listen at this. First Kings 22 and verse 17. I saw all Israel. All Israel. Scattered upon the hills. Scattered. Thank God on the hill. As sheep. As sheep. That have not a shepherd. That's the problem. That's it. The people now, they're scattered everywhere. Scattered. Why? As sheep that have not a shepherd. Followers that don't have no preacher. And the Lord said. What did the Lord tell the people like that? These have no master. They don't have no teacher. They don't have no ruler. As a result, what should they do, Williams? Let them return every man to his house in peace. Go home. That's right. That's right. You see, it's written there. Let them return every man. It didn't say return to your church. No, no. Go home. Let them return every man to his Tell house in your peace. hard head, stubborn things out there. Amen. Go home. Go home. Amen. Many of you watching now, you got one pants leg, one leg in your pants, about to pull up the other to go to church. Don't do that. That's right. Take your suspenders off and take off your belt and hang it back up. Put your jammies back on. Let them return every man to Go his house home. in peace. Stay Amen. away from the churches that teach you there's three distinct persons in the Godhead. That's right. Stay away from the churches that teach you there are two gods in heaven. Amen. Stay away, glory to God, from the churches that teach you flesh and blood is in heaven. That's right. When the Bible speaks plain that flesh and blood cannot, cannot. 
and inherit the kingdom of God. Stay away from the church that got women apostles, women pastors, women bishops, women deacons, women elders. Let them return. Stay away from the church where they got that fake blessing plan. And the bless the plan is get your money. That's right. The blessing is that fake reverend got your money. Let them return. Stay away from that homosexual choir. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Let them return. Stay away from the churches that got their rainbow flag. Amen. Stay away from the gay preacher running a revival in your church. Let them return Hallelujah. every Holy man God. to his house in peace. The Holy Ghost said. Let them return every man. Go back. To his house in peace. Go back home. That's right. Go That's right. back home. Let them return. Make a detour. You know the Holy Ghost and set a detour sign up. Amen. Yeah. Amen. All right, now give me the book of Corinthians. Now I got the prophets. Let's get the apostles. Now in 2 Amen. Corinthians. Amen, because Jesus gave the apostles a perfect understanding. He died and come back the third day, then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures and that's what's wrong with me <laughs> that's right yeah that's right that's what that's what got my mind all messed up the way it is that's right amen god done through holiness and that thing done hit my mind and knock out all the religious folly folly thank god that he done inserted something that's pure hallelujah go ahead pure sanctified and holy. That's right. And that's wrapped around with scripture. That's why I, I, I don't believe in preaching nothing else. Amen. I had one preacher said, I agree with what you preach, but the thing I don't agree with, you don't believe in searching Hebrew, Greek, and Latin to get an understanding. I say, I don't search Hebrew, Greek, or Latin to get understanding. I no. search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. Yeah. That's right. And the reason why I don't need Hebrew to get an understanding because there was a man who was born a Hebrew. That's right. Amen. He come on out the tribe of Benjamin, come out of the descendants of Abraham. Thank God he was born, born a Hebrew, Hebrew from birth. That's right. But when God spoke from heaven, you know what the Hebrew said? But who art thou, Lord? That's right. So being a Hebrew didn't help him. No. I, being a going to Hebrew, I don't need that to understand the Bible. No. All I need is the revelation and the understanding of the eternal God. Search the scriptures. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, search, search the scriptures. The Bible. For in them. No, for in Hebrew. In them. In Greek. Search the scriptures. That's the problem with you blind, devil-deceived preachers. You don't search Hebrew, Greek, and Latin, and theology, and all this other stuff. Yeah. And as a result of such, I remember when I was debating the Church of God in Christ with Minister Smith. That's what he kept re repeating Hebrew. Hakai this, <laughs> and Hakai that, like you do doing martial arts. Hakai! <laughs> That's right. Yeah? That's right. And, I, and as a result of his Hebrew search, what did he come up with? Three persons in the Godhead. That's right. Uh, that's what searching Hebrew does. Amen. But yet the Hebrews was told in the Bible, Hail Israel. Yeah. The Lord our God is one. That's right. That's what the Hebrews was told. That's right. Are you getting what I'm saying? Search you? the scriptures. Search the hallelujah. scriptures. Search what's written For here. For in them, in them, you think you have eternal life. You think you have eternal life. You think you have it for they are they which, which testify, testify of me. me. What did the apostle Paul tell them in Corinth now? Now in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. All right, you that's going to your false church after the word tell you go home. That's right. You're being hard hit. Yes. And now I'm being that you still going through your false church, I want to reinforce it. Second you Corinthians. won't go home like the Bible said. That's right. So I want to reinforce it. That's Second right. Corinthians. Chapter son. 6 and verse 17. Chapter 6, begin at verse 17. Wherefore, come out what from agreement. among them. First, let's get what agreement. At verse 16. Let's back up. Let's see what it says at verse 15. At here. verse 15. All right, son. And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Verse, uh, verse 14. 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Wait a minute. Amen. That's right. Amen. Don't be unequally yoked. Yoked together, together with unbelievers. Be ye How not. is it you a believer of scripture? Yeah. And so close with them that don't believe the scripture. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I don't care if it's mother, son, daughter, brother, brother. husband, wife. When the word of God come in, 
Oh, it's going to be some friction. Yes, it will be. Huh? That's right. I believe the scripture talking about he's going to set it very. Think not that I am come to send peace on Look earth. Look at what Jesus said. In the book of St. Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Jesus said, don't you think this way. I came not to send I peace, but a sword. peace but a sword. Well, I am come to set a man at variance. Glory to God. I, I, I come to set a man opposite. Against his father. A greater man. What? For I am come to set a that, man that's at That's what holiness variance. does. That's right. That's what, that's what folks write me. This man talk about my father and all that. That's right. That's right. I let you know your daddy's of the devil. Your granddaddy's of the devil. Your grandma, your great great grandma. That's right. Your mama, I tell you about your own mama. <laughs> that's Amen. Right. Talk about your wife and your that's husband. Right. That's and right. Your children. Why do I do it? Amen. Because the Holy Ghost spoke in here. I'm come to set a man of variance against it his ain't father. Nobody family, including mine. That's right. Above what's written here. That's right. Where God sent a man. He don't send him to run hand in hand with the world. No, Thank no. God he sent him against the world. That's right. Against the governments of the world. That's right. Democrats, Republicans, and liberals, and everybody. That's right. Hey Amen. This is what God does to him. Think not that I am come to send peace Think on earth. Think not. Amen. Thank that let you know these men out here, God didn't send them. They are peace preachers. That's right. Yeah. That's right. They don't want to offend nobody. Nobody. That's why they all get up and talk about love. <laughs> love. Right. Yeah, I believe God is love. God also hates. That's right. So I said, I don't want a God that hate. Well, you got him, buddy. You got him. He said, Jacob I love and Esau I hate. That's right. He does both. Both. All right, what did he say? Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I didn't come to send peace. I came not to send peace but a sword. What is it? For I am come to set a God man at variance I come against to his set father. A man at variance. Against his father. You know, when you stand for holiness, they're going, you're going to end up being against the way your father lived. That's right. If your father still want to drink and gamble and smoke and lie and all of a sudden want to bring his second wife in the house after you come into the knowledge of the truth, That's right. now you're at odds with him. That's right. Well, son, I raise you. Don't disrespect me, Pop. I'm not disrespecting you, but I'm, I I got a new life now. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. I got a new life now. You may be my earthly father, but I got to obey the heavenly father, uh, wicked above my earthly father. For I am come to set a man at variance. It doesn't matter if your father is your bishop, your father is your pastor. Amen. If you believe what the word of God said, then brother, you're going to be at variance. If your father is still one of the whole women preachers, you got to take what the word of God say and throw it in your father's face. That's right. If father said, I'm your father, but the heavenly father said. For I am come to set a man at variance Hallelujah. against his father. Eh? Amen. I am come to set a man at variance against his if father. If you're scared to go up against Hallelujah. your father, scared to go up against your brother, scared to go up against your wife, scared to go up against go your cousin, scared to go up against the governments of the world, That's right. you're not of God. That's right. Eh? For I am come it doesn't matter what type of punishment they flick on you. That's right. You will take the punishment gladly right. and do God will. That's right. Eh? For I am come to set a man in well, the against so his father. I, I know this from experience. Amen. Thank God for taking a stand for hallelujah. this truth. I don't have contracts put out on me. Yeah. I don't have, I, we just received threats a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. daring us to come in San Antonio, Texas. We sent ministers down there to baptize, and then some strange group called the hotel and said that them old folk down there with the truth of God, we gonna protest. If they come in San Antonio, Texas, my minister called me. He said, well, what should we do? I said, go! That's right. Lord, that God I don't care if they build a barn fire. That's right. Go, I said. That's right. Lord, that God, I, was, I, was, I wasn't scheduled to go in San Antonio, but I got over the air after they threw that threat out and made me feel good. <laughs> and they put a dance in my step and a hallelujah <laughs> in my mouth. That's I right. said, San Antonio coming down there in January. That's right. And I want to level the whole city. That's right. And do it. Who would take God from God's eternal word? Think not. Hallelujah. Hey. Hey, think not, think not that I am come to send Hallelujah. peace on Lord earth. God, don't think I come to send peace. I came not to send peace, I but a sword. I didn't come to play with you. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father. That's against your father? And the daughter against her mother. Wait a minute, when the daughter repent Amen. and go down in water, yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ, received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. She no longer agree with her mother wearing pants. That's right. No longer agree 
amen, with her mother wearing wigs. No longer agree with the makeup kit. That's she don't right. go to the club with her mother no more. Amen. Yeah? Amen. Why? What happened? And the daughter against her mother. He said at variance. For I am come the to The daughter here yeah, mm -hmm. against the mother. They at variance now. Amen. So then a mother take it as disrespect. I remember when God was molding me and shaping me, thank God, as a young man right. in my teens and was opening up my understanding. Bless God, my mother thought I couldn't stand her <laughs> because everything she was doing, God made me preach against it. Right. God, hey, she, she had a silver fox shawl. And the Holy Ghost had me barking about modest apparel. Right. She had gold all in her mouth. And the Bible moved on me to preach against the wearing of gold. Right. She had a wedding band on that her husband, which is my father, gave her. Yeah. Thank God I told her, you keep it. Doesn't matter if daddy gave it to you, to hell you're going. That's right. My mother pulled me to the side and said, one day she said, son, why you hate me? I said, I don't hate you. I love you. But I got to do what God say do. That's right. And if you don't obey the Bible, mama. Mama, yeah. you're going to hell. That's she right. looked, she ran down the hallway of the house and ran to my father's room in his office and said, Ernest, Ernest, did you hear what Nikki said? He said, yeah, I heard him. And if you don't do it, you are going to hell. Huh? Amen. They God, she couldn't get help from neither source. Amen. Everybody got to come back and do this on God's terms. That's right. I don't care how cute you think you are if you think you're God's gift to all humanity. That's right. Brother, if you think you're God's gift to all women of the earth, you got to come back and do it like the Bible said. Right. How much money you got, don't make you a man. How many babies you make, don't make you a man. It doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, how wealthy the size church organization you have, how large or how long you've been a bishop. Everybody got to come back to this. That's right. Because this is that. That's right. Huh? For I am come to set a man at variance I against his father. I come to set a man at variance against his daddy. And the daughter against her mother. Daughter against the mother. And the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Uh oh, it gives it spill over to your in-law. That's right. It spill over to your in-law. And the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. You know, sometimes the in-laws love you before you got saved. Yeah. Hey Amen. Hey Amen. The two sinners got married. Her son, her daughter. And marrying a sinner's son. The next thing you know, they both repent and go down in water. In the name of Jesus Christ, we see if the Holy Ghost now or the son do it first. Right. And then the wife complained to her wicked old mother, which is his mother-in-law. That's right. And then the mother-in-law called the son. What's the matter with you? What do you mean telling my daughter she can't wear pants? Yeah. What do you mean throwing out her makeup? Mm -hmm. What do you mean uh, all of this? Where you getting all this from? Yeah. And it doesn't matter if the son-in-law be respectful and open the Bible up and show his mother-in-law right. until God pricked the heart of his mother-in-law. Right. Mother-in-law going to fight. That's right. Mother-in-law going to say you're in a cult. Right. Amen. But let a style come out. Yeah. By a celebrity. Oh, yeah. Let a female celebrity say, I want to wear long dresses. Yeah. You'll find practically every sin of woman in the world That's true. wearing long dresses. That's right. Let a female uh, celebrity say, I want to wear my hair natural. No more perm. Right. No more hair straightening. No more dying. Yeah. Amen. None of, no, don't put no more henner in my hair so it'll burn it out. Let her do it. That's right. They say, oh, you know what? I think I go natural. Never mind the Bible that says who's adorning. Let it not be the outward adorning of wearing a gold or putting on the apparel or plaiting of the hair, but let it be the hidden man of the heart. And that which is not corruptible, but an ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God a great price. You can tell them what the Bible go says. Ahead. They'll fight that. That's right. But when a celebrity said, they all bow to it. That's right. You're going to pay an awful price for ignoring what God said. That's I'm right. warning you now. Yeah. Hey Amen. You can call me whatever you like. Psh, that don't matter. <laughs> Amen. That don't matter. That's like water on a duck's back. You That's know, right. water don't phase a duck because of the oil in his feathers. That's right. The, the, the water roll right off. Amen. Because of the scripture that is in my soul, what you say out there, roll right off. You got to come back and do it like God said. God set me at variance against you. For I am come to set a man at variance against his against father. Against the father. And the daughter against daughter the mother. Daughter against the mother. And the daughter-in-law against daughter -in -law the mother-in-law. Daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. And a man's foes. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here, here and now, here yeah. now. Here now. Here now, Matthew 10 and verse 36, a man's enemies shall, they, shall be they of his own household. They'll be right under your own roof. That's right. They'll be right in your own church. That's right. They'll be right in your own organization. Amen. Amen. When God started dealing with me in the so-called apostolic church I was in, enemies started forming. Yeah. 
Amen. No, maybe it's all about it. And since I came out because God said, come out from among them and be separate. Amen. I noticed there was no agreement there. That's right. Amen. And there was no fellowship to be had. That's right. And when I stepped out, hallelujah, I stepped out and obeyed what God said and been blessed. Praise our blessed. God every since. That's true. Yeah. That's right. Been blessed every since. And a man's foe. All right, let's go back to the book of Corinthians, son. Back in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 14. Get me. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. If you're a believer, there's something that's in the false church they don't believe. That's right. There's something that, that's what makes it a false church. Yeah. Because there are things in the scriptures they don't believe. That's right. Amen. Like the message we preached last night, are you in the church that Jesus started? Yeah. Are you in that church from the Lord Jesus Christ? And the only way you are in that church, your teachings are the same. Your preaching is the same. Your belief is the same. And your conduct is the same. That's right. Otherwise than that, because you got the name of Jesus on your building, that don't mean nothing. No. Anybody can put on their building a uh, supermarket right. and don't even have a can of llama beans. That's right. Don't have nothing in there. That's right. Amen. What did he say? Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. What is it? For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? What fellowship? Hath righteousness with unrighteousness. What fellowship with what's right mm -hmm. with what's wrong? That's right. What, what fellowship, fellowship do you have? That's right. How can you get along so well? How can you? That's right. Huh? That's right. You know, when your understanding come open and something come in that church, uh, it aroused the spirit of God in you. That's right. And it makes you stand up against it. That's right. People will think you mean and think you ungodly. They don't know what's wrong with you. Amen. But what's wrong with you is what's right with you. That's right. Eh? That's right. What? For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? What fellowship? What fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? Have right and wrong. And what communion hath what light commune? with darkness? Have light with darkness. Light and dark. And what communion hath light with darkness? It's amazing how That's these something. false prophets will have preachers come in their church, in their organization, run a week's meeting. Yeah. And the preacher got things that's contrary to the Bible and Bishop know it. That's but right. let him run a week's revival so his friend can get paid. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Preachers say, I don't believe in women preachers. He'll let a woman come in that do believe him. Yes. Preachers say, I don't believe in remarriage and divorce. But his fellow bishop got a second wife, and he let him preach. In 2 John chapter 1 and at verse 10. What? If there come any unto uh -oh. you. Uh-oh. Here, here's the strictness of the doctrine. Second John. This is the strictness of the doctrine of the apostles that's too strict for men to preach here. That's right. What is that? 2 John chapter 1 and at verse 10. What is this, If son? there come any unto you. There come any unto you. And bring not this and doctrine. And don't bring this doctrine. Receive him not into your don't house. Don't let him in your house. Neither bid him God speak. Don't bid him God speak. For he that biddeth him God speak. What is it? Is partaker of his evil deeds. Amen. If a man believe in divorce and remarry, he can't preach here. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Why? Because if I let him preach here, I'm a partaker. He's partaker of his evil deeds. Amen. He can't preach here. That's right. Before he can preach, he got to drop all his divorce. Yeah. And if he got a third wife, he got to have to pack up and get rid of her. That's right. Because it's not his, no way. Amen. Well, Pastor Jennings, I don't want to go back to my first one. Then stay neutral and live holy or die and go to hell. If there come any unto you. The Bible says. If there come any unto you. I got everybody. Your father, any, your any. grandfather, your bishop, your so-called diocese bishop, your district elder, your little junior pastor, That's your right. half pint deacon, and your quarter ounce bishop. If there come any unto you. It is. And bring not this doctrine. Don't bring this. Receive don't, him. Don't bring this. This doctrine. How should we treat him? Receive him not into your house. Neither. How should we treat him? Receive him not into your house. Amen. No, let him run a week's survival. Receive him not into your house. Amen. Let Reverend Chicken Wing come preach Saturday night. Receive him not into your house. That's right. Let Bishop Trumpstick come Sunday morning. Receive him not into your house. You know your brother's a homosexual? Mm. And he's up out of the matter if he's a past and got a thousand members. That's right. The Bible speaks plain here. Receive him not into your house. Amen. If any man, if there come any if unto you, any, any, come to you and bring not oh, this doctrine. Oh, 
brother, this scripture got dead yes. wood on creation. That's I right. mean, it got them pressed until you can see the lie juice coming out of them. That's huh? right. That's right. Scripture just pressing the preachers because if you don't do this, this is just as important as Acts 238. If there come any unto you. How in the world you don't believe in divorce and remarry and a divorced preacher can get up and preach with his second wife and you know his first wife and his second one. That's right. And yet, you sit there while he's preaching. Come on, you feel the spirit? Mm. Well, he's speaking in tongue. His tongue is too busy in his second wife's mouth. <laughs> that's right. He ain't speaking in tongue. No. That's the devil that's in him. That's right. The Bible says don't let him in your house. If there come any unto you. Ban him from the pulpit. That's right. That's right. Amen. When you know it, ban him. That's right. Uh, I know you fellas is upset over social media now. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. Because according oh, to the yeah. word of God, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 1.10, Now I beseech you, brethren, mm -hmm. by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing, same thing. that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and same judgment. Same judgment. So what agreement? Mm -hmm. Had the temple of God with idols? idols. Or what agreement, what fellowship had light with darkness? Mm -hmm. What kind of fellowship you had? And what concord hath Christ what with Belial? What concord with Christ? Give chapter and verse again. Now in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, we're at verse 15. Then we'll go back. Yes. To keep him out. Yes. Listen. Back in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, we'll start again at verse 14. And Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Wait a minute. So how can you have wise you preachers exchanging services? Mm. With all these unbelievers. Amen. Ain't no Baptist man can come in here and preach. No. There ain't no Methodist man can come in here and preach. No. If the Pope of Rome come in here, sit on out there, Pope, with your red shoes. <laughs> That's right. Kiss your ring. What make your hands so special? That's right. Go take a bath and wash your hands. Amen. I don't care if your hat's so tall is equal to the size of the leaning tower of Pisa. <laughs> When it comes to that Bible, I don't care who you are. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Amen. Do you hear this? Amen. I believe this. That's right. I'm a firm believer of it. Be I don't just read it. I believe it. That's right. What did he say? Be ye not unequally yoked together be with not. unbelievers. That mean be anything not. should be not be not. preaching in God's house. That's right. That's right. What did he say? Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Why? For what fellowship what hath fellowship? righteousness with unrighteousness? With right and wrong. And what communion hath light with darkness? Light and darkness. And what concord what hath Christ concord with Belial? With Christ with the, the devil, with Baal. Or what part hath he that what believeth with an infidel? With he that believe with an infidel, an unbeliever. And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? Wait a minute. What agreement hath the, temple, hath of the God temple of God with idols? Your body's the temple of the living God. So why are you bowing to a statue? That's right. You Catholics out there. That's right. Why do you agree with idolatry? With idolatry. Why you look at a statue of so-called Mary and hit yourself? Mm -hmm. Name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Ghost. Some of you people here, amen, and are watching got a little white picture of a so-called Jesus in your living room. You know you do. That's you right. You had it so long it's faded. That's right. Little white hippie on there that you claim is Jesus. That ain't Jesus. Amen. It's probably one of the Beatles or something. And, <laughs> I mean, one of the uh, a lead guitar player from an acid rock band. <laughs> That's and right. And you think it's Jesus. Who told you Jesus had blonde hair and yeah. blue eyes mm -hmm. and a goatee shaped up beard? <laughs> That's right. Eh? What a grin. And before you leave out the house, you look at that picture of a liar. That's right. Hey! And what a That's a liar on your wall. That's right. Got a cross over your bed with an image on there. That's idolatry. That's, That's idolatry. not Jesus. No. That's not Jesus. When you go home, you take your cross with your image, throw it in the trash, throw that hippie off your wall, throw it in the trash, throw that little fake manger you got on your front ground with that dirty plastic baby who you claim That's is right. Jesus, throw it in the trash. That's right. Throw it away. And what agreement. Hath the temple of God with idols. If you claim you're a believer, yeah. why do you got that idolatry trash? That's right. You're That's getting right. ready for Christmas, you heathen. You heathen. Your little rock Arkansas heathen. That's right. I said your little rock Arkansas heathen. Heathen. Huh? Amen. And yeah, man, if your mama celebrate Christmas, your mama is a heathen. Your daddy. That's right. Your children, your slap. Happy grandpappy, if you got a pastor that celebrates oh, Christmas, your pastor is a liar and a heathen. That's right. Give me the 10th chapter of the, of the book, book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah. And we'll start at verse 1. All right. Hear 
ye the word which the Lord Hear speaketh unto the you. the word. Which the Lord speaketh unto oh, you, O house God, of I Israel. I feel like thunder to everything in town. Here. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Learn not. Learn not. The way of the heathen. If it said don't learn it, that means somebody's giving heathen lessons. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. He's telling you not to learn it because somebody's giving out heathen lessons. Thus saith the Lord. And the Lord said learn not. The way of the heathen. What are they? <laughs> The way of the heathen. What are they? The heathen. That's what you are. That's right. A bunch of heathen. Well, I'm a Christian. The Bible didn't say that. Learn not the way of the heathen. Well, I'm a believer. The Bible didn't say that. The heathen. All right, let's see what the heathens do. And hey, the, hey, 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 you judge yourself that's right. in case you get offended. That's right. That man called people names. I went to that church and saw that man, Pastor Jenner. He called folks heathen. That's not the love of Christ. I didn't call you a heathen. The Who said it? Give chapter and verse. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 2. Give chapter and verse. Jeremiah. My name is Jeremiah. Jeremiah. That's right. Now let's read who said it. Thus saith the Lord. I'm not the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. What did the Lord say? Learn not the way of the heathen. And this time of year, every old raggly old so-called fake Christian yeah. got them old dirty, dusty, dingy, hell-deserving mangers on your church ground and on your house. Amen. Little rotten statues you had since 1950 during the Korean War. That's right. <laughs> Paint done peeled off. Hey Amen. Little ugly statue supposed to be Jesus and another dirty statue That's supposed right. to be Mary and another rancid statue <laughs> supposed to be Joseph and another crooked looking statue ahead, of an ugly looking sheep and a <laughs> pale looking goat. That's right. Hey? That's right. What? Thus saith the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen. Learn not the way of the heathen. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Why? For the heathen are dismayed at I them. I want you folks that are watching, look at your church now. That's I'm right. pretty sure they got wreaths. They got little wreaths on the door. Christmas wreaths now. That's right. You know, they don't waste no time. They got the decorations for Christmas all over your church. Bishop got it on his house. That's right. Bishop got it on his house now. He's advertising. There's a heathen, there's a heathen a in heathen. the neighborhood. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. Hey Amen. There's a heathen in the neighborhood. You're a bunch of heathen. Thus saith the Lord. I say you're a bunch of heathen. Your mama, your pastor, your bishop, you that are watching that celebrate Christmas, you're heathen. That's right. Every last one of you are heathen. That's right. Did you hear the Bible talking? Thus saith the Lord. Now, how can you be a believer mm -hmm. and disbelieve this? That's right. How can you be a believer? How can you? The word of God ain't never said Jesus' birthday was December 25th. No. You're supposed to believe what's written. That's right. Whatsoever things are written aforetime is written for our learning. Learn. It was never written aforetime Jesus' birth date. No. Never. No, no. What did he say here? Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen. What do they do? And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for Why? the heathen are dismayed at yes. them. Yes. For the customs of the people are vain. Uh, and you know the customs of the people are the traditions of the churches. That's right. They come in singing Christmas songs and, amen, got little children, Christmas choir. They got Christmas plays in church now. That's right. Christmas plays in church. When I was in an old raggedy false church, we put on a play. And wouldn't you know it, old Gino Jennings played the role of Jesus. <laughs> huh? Hey amen. I get embarrassed just talking about it. Shame, shame <laughs> takes me over. <laughs> amen. Shame just consumes my soul. <laughs> Amen. Amen. They even got the old pictures of me. Right, right. Amen. Playing old Jesus like a fool. <laughs> Here I had some old raggly white robe with a rope tied around it with a white towel around my neck. Ha! <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and my brother, he built the cross. Amen. And here I was told I had to get up on the cross. I was standing in front of the cross in front of the old false church. And my mother was just as loud as a woman preacher from Africa, screaming at the top of her lungs, must Jesus bear the cross alone, pointing at me. Pointing at <laughs> and my mama pointing at me, must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free. The devil made her a fool and made me a fool. Amen. Huh? Amen. Made us two fools. That's right. You know, you know, it's a blessing when you're able to look back from where God brought you. Oh, yeah. You, you, you're not a fool no more. That's right. Huh? For the customs of the people oh, are vain. Thank God the customs of the people are vain. They are unprofitable. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Look at the Bible itemize the habits of, uh, of Christmas. For what? Christmas habits. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to cut it down now. Now the truck's. Sell it. That's right. Set it up on the corner so you can go pay $25 for it. That's right. Or $30 for it or $100 for it. Amen. And you so happy. The Christmas spell is a spell from hell that make you feel well. Oh, yes. Hey, Amen. Here's the woman. The woman got beat up by her husband on the 23rd and the 25th. 
cussed her out, beat her up, slap her up, and then by New Year's Eve, they both sang and decked the halls with, with folly. <laughs> and then folly, right. la, 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 la. And right. they all sang and Rudolph, the fool knows rain there. That's right. And Customs and of the people. Customs of the people are vain. The public schools get the Christmas spell. Yes, they do. Children come make the same old, dirty, ugly, foolish looking gifts. That's a right. tin can with little ropes around it with the initials of their mother on it or their father, then bring it home and give it to them and say, Merry Christmas, and your heathen daddy and your heathen mama take it, yeah. or your parents take it to a mall to yeah. sit you on a 300-pound red suit pervert. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And you saying you love your children, stop lying to them. Amen. I said last night, and I say it again. You know it ain't nobody coming down your chimney. If they was in your chimney in Arkansas, he'll never make it to the bottom. No. As wicked as this city is, he'll, he'll be there dead. <laughs> they'll kill him. That's right. Amen. If he, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll get bricks and cement and seal the bottom. And if you try to get to the top, done. Not done. <laughs> They're going to seal the top. That's right. And you, before you know it, the news is going to come on. Santa dead. <laughs> That's, right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. I was watching the news one day in Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, they had about 15 Santas. It was in the mall, all fighting. <laughs> Santa had a gang war. <laughs> I mean, they was fighting, ripping beards off, throwing each other across the counter, pulling knives out. My and Lord. Santa declared a gang war. <laughs> My Lord. You bunch of church going heathen. Heathen, heathen. Do you hear this? For the customs of the people are vain. Vain. For one cutteth the tree out of the you forest. Cut the tree out the, the forest. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. What is it? They deck it with silver and with the gold. The Bible itemized what you do. That's right. It's a form of idolatry. That's, That's what right. you do. Look in your house now. Some of you are already shopping for your Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. And you don't do this no other time of year but now. That's right. What do they do? They deck it with silver and with gold. Hey, do you go to a church that got a Christmas tree in the fellowship hall? Amen. Viewers, do your church got a uh, Christmas tree in the lobby? Yeah. Do your church got a Christmas tree in the main sanctuary? Right. You in the devil's house. That's right. You in a heathen's church. That's right. That's not God's church no. because God's church believe what's written what's here. What's written. Huh? They deck it with silver and with gold. They deck it with silver and gold. They fasten it they with nails fasten and with, with hammers nails that it moves so it not. don't move. They are upright as it the palm tree, right but like speak a palm not. Tree. They must needs be born because they cannot go. What else? Be not afraid of them. Don't be afraid of them. For they cannot do they evil. They cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. What? For as much as there is none like unto thee, O Lord, yes. thou art great. The tree ain't great, but God is. And thy name is great in might. All right, let's go back to where we were in the book of Corinthians now. Back in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 14. I want all of you to get this. You might as well get ready to leave your church now. That's right. You might, there's nothing else for you to do but hear this message and get moving. Get stepping right now. That's right. Or just stay where you're at. But if God come, amen, I thought about this morning, the testimony the sister gave. Wonderful testimony. How she heard of the word of the Lord. Amen. How the word was being preached and the lifestyle she was living out there where the pole dancers were. Yeah. Thank God. But, and the word of God came and rescued her from that lifestyle. Amen. You know, you know, everybody got a testimony that hear this holy message. That's right. That obey it. God brought them out of something. That's right. Thank God. And I'm telling you, viewers, before you walk with God, you're going to have to give it up. Oh, yes. You're going to have to give up your cigarettes. You're going to have to give up your pipe sucking, your crack taking, your joint smoking, your partying. It's going to be a change in your life for That's you to right. be in Christ. The Bible said if any man be in Christ, he's a new, he's creature. A new creature. Now you got to come along and be new. new. Amen. The woman that take off her pants and get rid of her shorts. Hallelujah. She won't be out there half naked no more. She won't be out there living like the devil, smoking and drinking Hallelujah. and gambling and partying and shaking her hips and painting her fingernails and painting her face looking like Jezebel. He'll lay down that homosexual lifestyle. Glory to God. Why? If any man be in if Christ, any man be in Christ. Be in Jesus. He is a new creature. He's new. All things are passed away. It don't mean he's new instantaneously. That's right. Oh, no, 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 no. He won't be new overnight. No. Amen. Let me give you a better understanding of being a new creature. Let me liken it unto the caterpillar. Oh, yeah. You know, when a caterpillar get ready to be transformed, it have to go into a cocoon for a while. That's right. It go into a secret place away from all other caterpillars. Right. And then it spins its silk and clothes. It, it becomes shut up for a while That's right. until it's born again. Yeah. 
And when it's born again, the cocoon open up and a new thing come out. That's right. A new creature come out. That's right. It has a new body yeah. and it got a new name Amen. and it got a new behavior. Right. It crawled into the cocoon, yeah. but it crawls back out. Now it can fly. That's right. And it got, even got some color to the body. That's right. And got a new name. It was first called a caterpillar, yeah. but now it's a butterfly. That's right. You first was called, you was of the devil, right. and now you're holy. That's right. <laughs> Therefore, what? therefore. Therefore, hallelujah. Take off. hallelujah. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, if any man, hallelujah. hallelujah. If any man, if any man be in Christ, be in Jesus. he is a new creature. New creature. Oh, new you creature. You gotta come on and get in God's cocoon. God's cocoon is the church. Go you gotta come out of your sins. Go ahead. Repent of your sins. Hallelujah. Be baptized in water. Go ahead. Receive the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. And God will make you a new creature. A new creature. What he said. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, Hallelujah. he Go is a God. new creature. He's a what? A new creature. What happens, sir? All things are passed away. Hallelujah. Take God. Hallelujah. What? All things are passed away. Hallelujah. Go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All things are passed away. Are your old thing passed away? Passed away. Come on and get in God's cocoon. That's right. Get in God's church. That's right. And let the Lord strip you. Hallelujah. Huh? Everything that's not like the Holy Ghost. That's what holiness does. Therefore, if anything. Yeah, it's a stripping gospel. That's right. It's a stripping gospel. That's right. Amen. It strip you. You know, some of you women say, I want to be a stripper. But they come to church. <laughs> Man. That's right. Come to church. That's right. Hey, man, you can strip all you want. Go ahead. Strip out your cigarettes. Go ahead. Strip out your adulterous lifestyle. Go ahead. Strip out of living together, not man. All right, hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, take off. Go ahead. Hey. Therefore, strip you. Go ahead. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, all right, thank God. Go ahead, take off. If any man be if in Christ, any man. be in Christ. Be in Christ. He is a new creature. New creature. New creature. Huh? Old things Hallelujah. are passed away. New creature. That's right. Old things are passed away. You are throw away them cigarettes. That's right. Throw away that cigar. Hallelujah. Throw away being a bigot. Yes. Huh? Old things are you passed are throw away. Throw away that women preachers believe. That's right. You are throw away that divorce and remarry. That's right. Old things are passed away. Behold all you things. You look at them old pants that you used to have. Yeah. And say thank God I don't wear them no more. Old things are passed thank away. God I'm not in the club. Not drinking liquor no more. That's right. Because the old things are passed away. Not out there gang banging. That's right. Not murdering. Yeah. Not sodomizing. That's right. Not raping. Amen. Not stealing. Glory to God. Old things. Hallelujah. Hey. Old things are passed old away. Old things are passed away. Passed away. Behold, all things. Behold, everything. Are become new. But if you want that to happen, Amen. You got to come out. Be you not? You got to come out. That's right. I said you got to come out. Wherefore, come out from Do among them. you hear them. this? In 2 Corinthians 6 and verse 17. Come out. Come out from among them. From among them. And be ye separate. Who said it? Saith the Lord. Amen. Sit still and go to hell. Now. That's right. Stay in your false church. That's right. Get mad if you please. Amen. But the Holy Ghost says. Wherefore, come out from among them. Yeah. It didn't say write a letter to your bishop. No. You didn't write a letter to go there. You ain't got to write a letter to leave. That's right. That's right. Huh? Wherefore, come I'm out from that, You know, some bishops say do it in decent and order. Write a letter. That's your lying out. Amen. Decent and order is obey the Bible. Wherefore, come The Bible didn't say I got to write a letter. Don't need for you to come to recommend me one. That's right. If I didn't write a letter to come to your false church and you didn't write a letter to steal my money, I ain't writing a letter to leave. That's right. That's right. You didn't write me no letter to take my money. Amen. You didn't even send me a notice to let me know you're stealing it. That's right. Go ahead, take God, you just lied to me and took it. That's right. The Holy Ghost says what? Wherefore, come out from among them. Every church under the sun. Amen. Every religion that started by man, yeah. the Baptist, the Methodist, the Presbyterian, the Lutheran, the Pentecostal, the non-denomination, the so-called apostolic, right. the five percenters, the Hindus, and everything else that's not holy. That's right. The Lord said, be holy. That's it. Hard God say, be holy. God ain't say, be nothing else. No, no. So if you claim you're something else, I don't care what it is. That's right. Holiness 
was here before the earth itself. That's right. It ain't nobody religion go back that far. No. It ain't nobody belief go back that far. No. Somebody wrote and said, what is holiness? Is it a lifestyle or is it a religion? Holiness is a lifestyle that give you the thinking of God, the characteristics of God, the standard of God, the laws of God, the precepts of God, and give you God wisdom. That's right. That you may take on the characteristics of God to function in God's will, God purpose, God agenda, and live by God's law and die in God's that, law. That's right. Wonderful. That's what holiness is. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. Holiness is a stripping message. Oh, yes. It tear down. Oh, yes. Give me the first chapter of the book of, the book of Jeremiah. Of Jeremiah. Oh, yes. Holiness tears down. Oh, yes. Somebody say, every time I hear that man, he tear down. That's right. That's right. That's right. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse I got, 10. Listen, before anything worthwhile is built, you got to tear down first. That's right. You can't, you, it's not a wise man going to build a house on sand. He going to build a house on a solid foundation. Right. But first, he got to tear down the old. Every old ungodly thing in you, God ain't going to build on top of that. He going to tear everything down first That's because right. he wants something new. That's right. Now, let's get the mission of the prophet here. Jeremiah chapter 1 and at verse 10. All right. See? See, I have this day See, set, have this over day the nation, set the over the nation and over the kingdom. And over the king to root out. Wait a minute, what he told the prophet to do? To root out. You know, when you're any woman that got a beautiful flower bed. She don't want no weeds in there. That's right. Amen. So when she see the weeds growing in her rose garden, she, she get the root. Yeah. Get them weeds by the root. That's right. And that's my job as a God sent ambassador. That's right. Sent to represent authority from authority to bring you the customs and the traditions, Holy Ghost traditions that God has. That's right. Amen. I have to pull everything out okay. by the root. Go to the source of falsehood. That's it. And the source of falsehood is Satan himself. That's right. Eh? See, I have this day set thee over the nations. Over take God set thee over the nations. And over the kingdom. To do what? To root out. No, the planet. To root out. No, to plant the lies. To root out. To plant the lies. To root out. All right, preacher, why are you not doing your job? That's right. You's a lie planter. You're supposed to be rooting up the lies. That's right. Not planting them. To not help spreading them. Yeah. Not preaching them. Right. Not teaching them. Not motivating them. To You're supposed to be rooting them out. That, to root out. Root out. And to pull down. What? And to pull down. You got to pull your whole choir down. Pull it down. That's right. Give them single girls some standing up there with their cleavage showing Preach. through their blouse and through their choir robe pull with down. all them passion marks and ain't none of them married. That's right. Looking like a bunch of stained prostitutes with marks on their chest, on their neck, right. lips all red, earrings hanging on with splits everywhere with somebody else's hair and somebody else's nails. And to pull and down. And you supposed to be church. That's right. With a choir like a bunch of Jezebel and pimps. Amen. What? And to pull down. I got to pull it down. Pull down. Yeah. And to pull it down. That's right. That's what holiness is. That's right. Holy demands sanctification. Go ahead. Holiness orders sanctification. Go ahead. Have you, many of you came up, have you heard your mother say, I go to a holy sanctified church? That mean I got to live a certain lifestyle and I'm set apart for God's will. That's right. Holy lifestyle. Sanctified, set apart. You got to be set aside to live like Jesus. Walk like Jesus. Talk like Jesus. Yeah. Set apart. And to pull down. Pull it down. Pull down. Pull it down. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Amen. Anything that come in the pulpit, not like the word of God, pull, pull it down. down. Pull down. Don't compromise. Mm, don't hallelujah. bargain. Don't build it up. Don't pet it. Don't befriend it. Don't pull. sanction it. Don't justify it. Pull. Don't verify it. Pull it down. Pull down. Yeah. That's right. Doesn't matter how much money they offer you, pull it down. Pull down. Reject the money and pull it down. That's right. Reject the dollars and pull it down. Down. Pull down. Hallelujah. What is that? To root out. Root it out. And to pull down. I've been offered, uh, listen, I've been offered everything under the sun. I've been offered millions of dollars Hallelujah. if I would just bargain. That's right. Throw it to God, but I pulled it down. Pulled down. I've been offered to be a millionaire, That's right. but I pulled it down. That's right. Preachers have came and offered me their organizations and movement Hallelujah. with the string attached that I have to compromise with the word of God. That's but right. I pulled it pulled down. down. Viewers got upset and called the FBI on us. And the FBI said, we already know who you're talking about. Yeah. We got the man under the wash. <laughs> they came and mingled among the congregation at our old headquarters church on Frankfurt Avenue. And I told the FBI, I don't care if you are. Here. That's I'll right. take you and pull you pull down with down. Bible. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh. To root out. To root out. out. And to Hallelujah. pull down. Pull, take God. Hallelujah. pull down. Pull it down. Huh? Not right. build it up. Pull it down. Pull down. Amen. You that got these statues in your church and in your home. 
you beautifying them and dusting them and pointing them and repainting them. Yeah. What should you be doing? Pull down. Pull that trash down. Pull it down. Now, when you go home, you get that trash out your house that's supposed to be Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. Take your, take your Christmas tree. Yeah. The moment your son, the moment your husband buy it, stop him at the door, grab it, and throw it outside. That's right. Huh? Pull down. Pull it down. Pull down. Glory to God. What else? And to destroy. This is Holy Ghost demolition. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. This is Holy Ghost demolition. And to destroy. Before you have divine construction, you first got to have Holy Ghost demolition. That's right. You got to tear it to pieces. That's right. What else? And to destroy. What? And to destroy. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, then now do you understand why we preach like we do? Oh, yes. Huh? And to destroy. This, this is my job description. <laughs> That's right. I got my Holy Ghost hard hat on. That, go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. I got my Holy Ghost hard hat on. Go ahead. Thank God. And I got to tear down everything that's not like God. That's right. And if you're in the way, when the wrecking crew come, oh, yes. then you're just going to be knocked over by it. That's right. Huh? See, I have this day set the See, over the nations. See, I have this day set the over the nations. And over the kingdoms. And over the kingdoms. To root out. Amen. To root out. And to pull down. And pull it down. And to destroy. Any preacher that's scared to pull down that because not like God should never be in the pulpit. That's true. Amen. And you bear in mind, pulling down, start with the pulling down of yourself. That's right. You got to pull down your own will, your own wickedness. You got to pull down. Amen. You come along, preacher, you get rid of your finger rings. Yeah. Amen. And get rid of your bracelets and your chain around your neck. Yeah. Amen. Get rid of your afro. Get to dye out your hair and be the way God made you. That's get right. them dumb plaques out your hair. That's right. Get that trash out your and you'll get it all out. That's right. Be the way God made you. Amen. And if you're not willing to be what God made you, you get out the pulpit. Don't even look at a pulpit. And if you rub up against the pulpit, run from it. That's right. Huh? To root out. Root it out. And to pull down. Pull it down. And to destroy. Destroy it. And to throw down. That's what we used to say in the hood. We're ready to mix it up. That's Let's right. throw down. That's right. Let's throw down and mix it up. That's right. That's what I come along with the Bible, ready Amen. to throw down. Thank God we come and hit you with the Old Testament Amen. and the New Testament. Wow, we want to throw down. Throw down. We want to throw down with creation. That's right. Huh? That's right. All right, let's go back to the book of Corinthians, son. This is good here. Back in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and at verse 17. All right, listen at this. Wherefore, come out from among them. All right, viewers, you want to be hard head? The Bible says in the Old Testament, go home. Go home. And I know you don't want to go home, so now we're going to reinforce what the prophet said because Jesus said, uh, ye fools and slow of heart, believe what the prophet said. said. And the prophet said, go home. Go home. Let every man go home in peace because these have no, no master. They don't have no master. That's right. They are sheep without, without a, shepherd. a shepherd. And if you look at the people, they are wandering from one fake religion to another. That's right. And many times what make them loyal to that religion because their daddy is the pastor. Yeah. Their brother is the pastor. They aunt is the assistant pastor, and their mama is the deacon. That's right. They keep it all in the family. That's right. Huh? That's right. All right. Wherefore, come out from among them. All right, you hear it. You hear it now. Oh, yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Come out. Wherefore, come out from among them. All right, stiff necks and uncircumcised of heart, hard right. head, Bible-toting churchgoers. That's right. The Holy Ghost said. Wherefore, come out from among you them. You thought you was a Christian till you heard this, didn't you? Amen. You got your bar in your house drinking your liquor, you old Christian rum drinker and Christian cigar sucker and Christian pot taker. Oh, yeah. For municipal purposes. <laughs> That's right. That's that devil out of hell. Wherefore, come out from among come them. Come out! Come out from among them. And be ye separate, saith out. the Lord. Time for you to pack up and go, Grandma. Come, come out. Grandma, you must agree to come out. Get that ankle chain off of you. You're not a prostitute. Stop wearing a label of one. That's right. You didn't wear that stuff when you was 19. You wait till you get all in your 70s. Now you got an ankle chain over that one thick vein cutting your blood circulation down. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's and right. And you wonder why your foot is all swollen at night. And you got to pull it up and put all them pillows up under it. That's right. Come out. Come out from Go among them. Thank God. Amen. What did it say? Where? Wherefore, come out from among them. I'm out from among them. And be ye separate, saith the Lord. And be separate. Saith the Lord. Be sanctified. That's right. You got to come out from among them and pick up sanctification. That's right. You got to be separate. You got to be set apart. You got to be sanctified. Who says it? Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. And what? Touch not the unclean thing. What? And touch not the unclean Don't thing. Don't touch that which is unclean. And I will receive you. Shooting dice, playing mm. cards, shooting pool. That's right. Hey man, drinking your liquor, got a bar in your house and claim you're a Christian. You ain't no Christian. No, no. You're an old drunken heathen. That's right. And that's what you are. <laughs> that's party right. all day Friday, party all day on Saturday, go play your bingo and all this stuff so you can get your money. Church got lottery now. Yeah. Lottery right in church. The Catholic churches are known for it. Oh, church yeah. got banquets now. They, they give the bishop a banquet. 
he come on out in his tuxedo and his wife come on out with an evening gown with her back all out, showing her back and showing the cleavage. Say we want to honor the bishop. If you knew anything about the Bible, you wouldn't have a banquet with it in nobody church. First Don't Peter you know chapter ban four. Yeah, banquet is that of your past life. That's right. It's not the present life of God, people. That's right. A banquet is that of your past life when you didn't know no better. Give me the book of Peter, if you will. First Peter chapter four and at verse three. We're going to tear banquets down. That way, when your church going to have one, you don't go. <laughs> That's right. Hmm? That's right. Hmm? That's right. Don't say, well, what about my wife? You save yourself. Mm -hmm. Save yourself. Save yourself. I want this to be good for all you men who ain't got no spine. Save yourself. <laughs> That's right. Eh? First Peter chapter 4 and at verse 3. Give chapter and verse again. First Peter chapter 4 and at the third verse. All right. For the time past of our life. No, the time present. For the time past. Get at verse 1, son. At verse 1. What is it? For as much then as Christ had suffered for us in the flesh. What shall we do? Arm yourselves likewise. How shall we have it? With the same mind. You have the same mind Christ had. For he that suffered in the he flesh had ceased from, from, from sin. That he no longer should live the that rest of his no time to flesh. live the rest of his life in the flesh in the flesh to the lust of men what do you mean don't live your rest of your life in sin that's right to the lust of men but to the will of God do God's will for the time past of our life give chapter and verse again now F first Peter chapter 4 we're at verse 3 you just got you some of you now you got your banquet gown as yeah. you do you got your gown now. You got your evening gown all, all sparkling <laughs> like you done plugged up overnight like a fluorescent bulb. That's right. Huh? Got them glittering all faster. sparkling, looking like Liverace. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Ah! That's right. All glitter, all hat, glittering. glitter, gown, glitter, shoes. All that glitter is not for God's people. That's right. God's people is a modest people. Imagine Pastor Jennings coming out here with a glitter, uh, a glitter suit. A glitter suit. Suit made out of rhinestones. That's right. Huh? That's rhinestone. True. Williams got glasses with rhinestones on them. That's right. Hey, man, like he's a rolling stone cowboy. <laughs> Amen. Can you imagine that? Amen. God people is modest. We're modest not out here wild and foolish looking like pimp daddy. That's right. That's right. Thank for God's people. Amen. Do you hear this? For the time past of our life. I want to say that shows you prosperous. No, that shows you a fool. That's a fool. That don't show you prosperous. You want to show that you're prosperous? Obey God. That's it. Eh? That's right. That's the most prosperous life you can ever produce. Amen. Come on, son. For the time past of our life. What time of life? For the time past of our life. What did we do? May suffice us to it have satisfied us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. To wrought the will of the uncircumcised or to wrought the will of them that wasn't saved. What did we do? When we walked in lasciviousness. We walked in extreme lust. 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 Excess of wine. Wait a minute. We did what in our past life? Walked in lasciviousness. We did what in our past life? At lust. Excess of wine. Excess of wine. We got drunk. Walking yeah. out here gets staggering. <laughs> Church right. people still staggering. That's right. Huh? That's right. You go on Sunday morning, you don't believe me? You go by churches on Sunday morning and look how many standing on the church ground yeah. smoking cigarettes. Oh, yeah. Deacon smoking with his badge on. <laughs> Trusty right. smoking with his badge. I mean, they're just as casual. That's right. Huh? That's right. Even a bishop out there with his pipe and robe on. Amen. Pipe. Smoking bishop, cigar smoking deacon, Amen. and grandma got a joint in her mouth. <laughs> That's right. And got a little vapor machine in her pocketbook. Amen. Everybody can stand out there talking. Well, praise the Lord. How you doing? Oh, yeah. I read Bishop when he preached today. Oh, yeah. What was that sermon about? I don't know, but it was a very deep topic. Very deep talking. Very deep talking. That's a right. A bunch of smoking heathens. That's right. You're not saved. You're a bunch of sinners. Amen. I know you thought you were saved. I know. I know you was happy because you touched the screen of a liar. Oh, yeah. And you thought Christ came in your heart. The only thing you got from your screen was a warm hand. That's right. Or a shock. For the time. Christ ain't came nowhere near your heart. No. Amen. Unless you repent of your sins and go down in water. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus ain't never told nobody. Here, 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 viewers, and you that are here. Jesus ain't never said, bow your head. No. Raise your hands and accept him as your personal savior. He ain't never said it. No. Jesus ain't never said, go pray a sinner's prayer. Jesus ain't never made no such statement. That's right. Jesus ain't never said, go baptize everybody, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. No. He said, baptize in the name mm -hmm. of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost is the name of Jesus, and he's the Christ. That's right. Eh? That's right. Amen. Come on now. For the time past of our life. Time past of your life. May suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. What did we do? When we walked in that civic What else? Lust. What else? Excess of wine. What else? Reveling. What else? Banqueting. We did what? Banqueting. During what time of our life? The time past of our life. What did we do? Banqueting. What time of our life? The time past of our life. What did we do? Banqueting. At what time of our life? For the time past of our life. Where did we go? Banquetings. 
banquetings. What else? And abominable idolatries. Oh, yes. Amen. Had your banquets. Amen. And then some of you Banquet. women get some bodybuilder man to jump out of a cake with gold draws <laughs> like a fool. That's right. A grown man with a, uh, with a gold sparkling thong in his tail. <laughs> That's right. That's huh? right. That's right. And you women sit there and put dollar bills in the strap of a dancing male whore. A amen. Time passed of our life. Amen. Imagine that. So-called church people. Yeah. Having a party for a sister so they get a male whore come out of a cake with gold draws. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's Grandma right. go into it. Grandma. Grandma help arrange it. it Amen. Grandma helped sponsor it for her daughter. That's right. You old crook. That's right. You are heathen. Amen. You're a sinner. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. That's why you're not a new creature. You're a sinner. Sinner. What did he say? For the time past of our life. Look at your past life and look at it now. Is it, is it the same? Mm-hmm. The reason why many's past lives are the same because no one have no teaching today. That's right. The things are not being taught. Amen. Now, let, let, let's, let's bring it home now. I believe, give me the book of Hosea. I believe it's the sixth chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Begin at verse one. verse 1. Amen. Let's read that quick and then we'll go to Acts 38 and close out because it's time for people to be born again. Mm -hmm. Amen. And get this thing like the Bible says. Sixth chapter of the book of Hosea, begin at verse 1 quickly. Come and let us return unto the Lord. Do what? Come and let us return unto the Lord. All right. You can't return to him unless you left him. That's right. Many of you watching now, you're backsliders. Yeah. You used to be in church. Look at you now. You would never know you were in church. Your, the tip of your fingers, it got all them burnt marks on it from joint smoking. Yeah. You smoked the joint down to your rose, right down to the roach. That's right. Amen. You got your mouth over your fingers and over the roach, just all in it. That's right. That's right. Huh? And then some of you, you don't want to waste the joint. You just throw the rest of it in your mouth and eat it. <laughs> Amen. You know you're a fool. That's a fool. Liquor so hard until the burnt your lips, make it dark. Got bruises across your lips because of the strength of the liquor. That's right. Look at your silly life. Out there in the public, young man, pants hanging down, advertising your drawers like you're a male prostitute, making a booty call to the neighborhood. That's a right. A man that's a real man don't advertise his drawers. What's the matter with you? Amen. What's the matter with you, young men and middle-aged men? Yeah. Pull your pants up. That's right. You're supposed to have been made in God's image. That's right. Do you hear this? Come and let us return unto the Lord. Come on back. And let us return unto the Lord. Come on back. Hallelujah. Come on back. For Come on back. Come on back to original holiness. That's right. Get rid of this man-made trash that pretend to represent Jesus. That's right. Get rid of it. You That's people right. out there, stop being easy. The people, they are attracted to this sugar down preaching. Oh, yeah. And man, you can go on the internet and find these false prophets with a crowd of thousands oh, yeah. yelling, telling the whole congregation, say, money, come here. <laughs> That's right. They ain't preaching the word. No. Just telling the people that say money, come here. That's right. And the whole crowd is doing it. That's right. Why? The devil know people want money, but they don't want God. That's right. That's right. Now you fool money lovers. Yeah. Don't misunderstand me. It takes money to function in the natural things. Oh, yeah. But it's not a sin to have it. It's a sin to love it. That's it. The Bible ain't never said to have money is the root of all evil. He says the love of money, love of money. is the root of all the evil. Love of money. The love of it. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Do you hear? In 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 10. So God ain't never sent no preacher to keep preaching to you get rich. Prosperity, touch a house and claim it. And no. somebody live in the house and you touching it. That's right. Huh? That's right. I remember years ago I was in Alabama and there was a talk show and there was uh, people calling in and a uh, radio uh, 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 announcer or sponsor, the gentleman talking, he was taking call ins and talking about touching and claim it. So there was a woman called in, I never forget, it was years ago, and she said, There's a house that I want. And, uh, and the man said, why don't you believe God and go touch it and claim it? Mm. And he, she said, well, someone live in it. He asked her, how bad do you want it? My Lord. Then she said, well, there's a high fence. He said, jump the fence. My Lord, my Lord. You see, these, you see how crooked these men are? Amen. Now, if you're going to touch something that somebody else owns and claim it, that preacher not teaching you faith. You know what he's teaching you? Covetousness. Covetousness. Because you're desiring someone else's. That's right. That's not faith. That's covetous. You see how the preachers trick you, viewers? That's right. You thought you was doing God's will, didn't you? <laughs> Going around touching cars and then someone come with the keys and drive away with it. 
Amen. You're a fool. You're Amen. so deceiver of the devil. You believe all these heckle and jekylls in the pulpit. That's right. Amen. But we're going to tear the pulpit down and all the preachers in them. That's right. What is that? Back in Hosea chapter 6 and verse 1. What is it? Come and let us return unto the Lord. Let us come back to God. For he hath torn and he will he heal us. He hath torn and he will heal. He hath smitten and he will bind us up. Yes. After two days will he revive us. Be quick. In the third day he will raise us up and we shall live in Yes. Faith. Then shall we know if we follow on to know the Lord. Wait a minute. Then shall we know if we follow on to know the Lord. His going forth is prepared as the morning. Did you hear this? That's right. His going forth is prepared as the morning. That, that means darkness will pass. That's right. And light will come. Amen. If you go on and know the Lord. Yeah. All right, let's close out with Acts 2, 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right. You ain't never been born again since you fell from your mama's womb. That's right. Until you obeyed this scripture right here. That's right. Who, oh, Pastor Jenner? Nobody. Nobody. In the world. No church, no church, no religion. And ain't nobody out here a Christian until That's right. you get, got this in the scripture here. Acts you ain't born again. You ain't saved at all. That's right. Until you got it just like the scripture says it. That's right. Notice Acts 2.38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. No, join the church. Repent. Bow your head and raise your hands and accept Christ as your personal Savior. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Pray some old raggedy sinner's prayer. Repent. Hold the preacher's hand and say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Wash me, cleanse me. I'm a sinner. Wash me white as snow. <laughs> That's right. That's Is that what he said? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. He ain't told you to do none of those things. Men and brethren, what shall we do? What shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. That's what you got to do now. Repent. God That's wants right. you to be sorry for your sins. That's right. God said repent. And be baptized every one of you in the name Wait of Jesus Christ. How much of Arkansas? Every one of you. How much of Little Rock? Every one of you. How much of the poor pits of America? Every one of you. How much of the churches? Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. And what did God promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy you Ghost. You can call yourself an apostle now. Go ahead if it makes you happy. Call yourself an apostle, a prophet, bishop, evangelist, pastor, deacon, be whatever you like. That's right. But if you haven't repented of your sins and baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you no more a preacher than a duck can smoke crack. That's right. And lay square eggs. Amen. And then roll them for dice. That's right. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Come on back to the Bible. Come on back to the Bible. That's it. There ain't no one watching me now born again. Nobody. Nobody. Unless you got Acts 2.38 like the word of God says it. Otherwise than that. Get mad, cuss me out, get upset, call me whatever you like. But yeah. when you're done, you still ain't born again. That's right. You didn't get mad enough to get born again. That's right. Until you got it like the scripture says. If then Peter said to them, repent. You got to repent now. Woman, man, boy, girl, preacher, preacher, church, goer, repent. religion, religious leader. Then Peter said Politician, them, Biden, Harris. That's right. Trump. Repent. Repent. All of you. Repent. All of you Trumpites that want to burn flags and storm the White House and storm Congress and take over the government, you bunch of gun-carrying, camouflage-wearing fools. Repent. And you claim you Christians. You are no Christians. You're a bunch of sinners. That's right. And I say you're a bunch of sinners. Who all of you? <laughs> That's right. You're just a bunch of sinners. Then Peter said unto them, The word of God said. Repent. They storm the Capitol, then start praying. Can you imagine that? That's right. Imagine you bur burglarizing the place, then start praying. My Lord. You come burglarize my house, and then I catch you in the living room praying. You're going to need prayer. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. You're going to burglarize my house, and That's they're going right. to hold hands with your burglar associates yeah. and start praying. Amen. Uh -huh, I'm going to do like Jesus. I'm going to beat you out. <laughs> That's right. Huh? I'm going to turn your tables over. That's right. And drive you out the temple. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized, every one of you. If you've been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you've been baptized wrong. That's right. Hear me, viewers, and you that are here. Hear Pastor Jennings now. That's right. If you've been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you haven't been baptized right, you was baptized wrong, wrong. by your pastor. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, didn't I read somewhere that says be baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? No. No. It said be baptized in the name. Amen. Read it, son. Go, Matthew 28 and verse 19. That's what? Go ye therefore and teach all nations. And do what? Baptizing them in the name of the Father. In the name, the in the Father. name, in the name, in the name, in the name. Of the Father. Of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Your Ghost. Your preachers read it wrong and done it wrong. That's right. Preachers say be baptized in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Ghost. The Bible didn't say that. No. It says name, N-A-M-E, not N-A-M-E-S. That's right. 
I'm a son by birth. I'm a husband by marriage. I'm a father because me and my wife got seven youngins. Yeah. But my name is Jennings. Right. You know, the one you can't stand. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Eh? That's right. Glory to God. The Bible says. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. That's why we're here in Little Rock. The whole city need teaching. Oh, yeah. And the whole state need teaching. Oh, yes. And all of America and the world need teaching. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. And baptize in them. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. That's where they was told to do it. That's right. Now let's see where it was fulfilled or where it was done. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. All right. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. That's the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. When Jesus said, baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, the apostles obeyed it. The apostles went and done it, and they baptized everybody by calling that name. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's the name of Jesus Christ. For what reason? For the remission of sins. For the remission or the removing of your sins. And what did he promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy if Ghost. you bow your head and raise your hands, you ain't never been saved. You've been tricked. Help the preacher's hand and repeat some sinner's prayer. Ask the Lord coming to your heart. Ain't no Bible told you to do that. No. No bishop told you to do it. You know you're faker. <laughs> That's right. Heckle and jackal. That's right. That's right. You've been lied to under the heading of religion. Yeah. Anybody here want to get right? I mean, get Bible right. For once in your life, get right. And then want to be baptized the right way. In the name of Jesus Christ, if you want it, Little Rock, stand on your feet now. Amen. Stand on your feet if you want it. Wonderful. Amen. All of you that's standing, go right to the back. All of you that's standing, go right to the back. You see why I got to open up the church here now? <laughs> that's right. I got to do it now. Got to do it. So we take God everywhere we go. Amen. Holiness does this, you know. That's right. That's right. Holiness does this. Oh, yeah. Strip you. Oh, yes. Strip you. Go and take God. Huh? Then Peter said, then unto, Peter said unto them, repent. Look at him lining up. Getting ready to go down in water. Wonderful. Getting ready to go down in water. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wonderful, wonderful. This is what God ordered. That's right. I told the world, right. every city we go in, God give us victory everywhere. That's right. It is in a city where the truth of God go, where we make a failure. Yeah. Amen. Bible says that God stood behind it, both with signs and wonders and Direst miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his own will. Let me tell you something, viewers. Wonderful. These preachers can yell, they preach holiness all they want. Yeah. Remember this. A holy message gives you holy results. That's right. Huh? That's right. If it ain't no holy results, it ain't no holy message. That's why all of heaven, I said all of heaven is backing this message. Amen. Not half of it, all of it. All of it. Everything in heaven agree with this. That's right. Everything. That's right. I mean, the angels agree with it. I mean, God to agree with God it. Agree. God agrees with it because he sponsored it. That's right. He's behind it. Amen. So just like they getting prepared to go down in water, we baptized 105 souls two weeks ago in Charlotte. We baptized 26 last night here in Arkansas. And some more get ready to go down in water now in Arkansas. Amen. Amen. And next week we'll be in Phoenix, Arizona. Amen. To bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to press Phoenix. That's right. And let Phoenix know that there's nothing under the sun right but what God says. That's right. I want everybody to remember to get ready now. Amen. For the International Holy Convocation held in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at our headquarters temple. Our main auditorium is... Uh, we're working on that to get it done. The two balconies are done. The rails are up. The tears in the balcony is being constructed. We'll be able to hold close to 3,000 in the main auditorium. The lower auditorium, the lower auditorium, uh, we just can't hold the people. We can't even hardly hold the people on a regular Sunday morning. That's right. And our gymnasium, which is the overflow room, well, that don't give us no justice during the conventions either. Amen. And uh, so I'm going to have to almost start going back, renting a place to hold our conventions until the main auditorium is done. Yeah. Amen. Because there's so many hundreds and now you don't turn to several thousands. But brothers and sisters, uh, the message of God continue to grow. There are a lot of sincere preachers out there. I believe that really want to do this right. And if there's any men that want to do it right now, preachers are contacting me from all around the world. And I tell them all straight up. Don't call me, you want me to compromise. Right. Don't call me, you want me to smoke them peace pipe and bargain. No, 
There won't be no bargaining. It's God's way. That's it. Or That's no it. way. That's right. Eh? That's right. God's way. That's right. Glory to God or nowhere at all. May God keep you. Who gave me the correct time, brothers? 149. All right. Evening session begin at 5 o'clock. You come on back now. Don't you sneak off to your false church. Amen. Amen. Don't go sneak Amen. off to your Amen. false church. You may as well come on back and get your last shot for this weekend. That's right. Get your last shot of gospel. Come on, huh? come on back. Don't go stay home because your team is playing this evening. Amen. You want to shoot That's the right. hoop? Come on. I got a three-pointer scripture here. Amen. Amen. So we can hit you with it right here. May God keep you. May God preserve you. Let us all stand. Williams will close us out in prayer. Christ, we want to thank you and praise you once again for this day. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for the truth of the gospel that was taught in our hearing. We thank you, Father God, for the souls that desire to be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for the man of God and for the message that you put in his mouth. My God, we thank you, Father God, for all those that have come out to hear the truth, that our understanding may come open, that we not only be hearers, but bless us to be doers of the word also. Keep us covered under your precious spirit that no hurt, harm, or danger will fall upon us. Remember the man of God. Continue to strengthen him and bless him and protect him and keep him by your spirit. My God, we thank you for all things thus far. We do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.